Hey guys, we're back in the shop today. It's uh, incredibly smoky outside today here in the West Coast. Um, you know, I'm in Oregon, Central Oregon, so there's absolutely no riding today. Um, it's totally hazardous outside. So I thought I'd take the time today, uh, Saturday, to just make a quick video about some of the helmets I've been using for the past, oh, I don't know, maybe eight, nine years. Um, I feel like helmets are one of those things where uh, the videos you find on YouTube really, really are tailored to selling you the product. Uh, I think there's very few, you know, kind of genuine reviews um, from users of helmets and, and kind of sharing their thoughts about them. So, um, yeah, I want, I want to kind of cut through that and just share four of the different brands that I've used over the past uh, nine years and uh, some of the brands I'm currently using. And yeah, kind of what I think about them. And I, I think they all have their place. Um, I think that they're all awesome. All, the, the four helmets here are awesome. I have other helmets that I have that are not awesome, which I'm just not going to talk about. But um, yeah, let's get into it. So I have uh, on my right here, I have I have a Liat, kind of like a budget price Liat. I have a Shoei, an older Shoei, which I've had for nine years that is now retired. Um, it's a premium helmet. I have an Arai, which is a premium helmet. I've used this helmet for about a year. Uh, off and on, and then I have a Troy Lee Designs SE4 carbon helmet, which is an also also a premium helmet, which is my current kind of go-to helmet, and I've been using that pretty pretty hard for about three months. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, you know, starting with a Liat, this is um, this is not the only Liat helmet I have. Um, I have a an expensive premium dual sport carbon Liat helmet, which actually I, I haven't been that happy with. It, it's not that it's a good helmet, but just for the price, uh, for the price that uh, that it was listed for, that I paid for it. I just I just feel like the value hasn't been there. So, but this helmet, um, this is a Liat GPX4 uh, version 19.2. This is like a retail $200 helmet that I bought for like 70 bucks. You can buy them right now, um, you know, for like. 70 bucks on BTO Sports, and for $70, this is a pretty, this is a pretty good um, polymer helmet. I mean, I, I typically, you know, this helmet, uh, budget helmet, I, I use it for when I go into the woods, and I know I'm going to really beat up a helmet uh, when I'm not going very fast, and I just want something to protect my head. Um, comfortable helmet, breathes really well. I wouldn't say it's lightweight, but it's, it's you know, $80. For 80 bucks, you can't beat it. Um, I, I think there's incredible value in this helmet. I would say there's probably more value in this helmet at 80 bucks than any of those helmets that are more expensive. So um, awesome helmet. Like if you're gonna go out and ride for a short time, maybe less than two hours, and you're gonna ride relatively slow and you're gonna beat up your helmet, uh, you can't go wrong with these low to middle price point Liat helmets. Um, they're, they're, they're pretty awesome. And I've been really happy with this helmet. I'm still using it and I plan to use it a lot more. Um, so yeah, great helmet. I think in my mind, Liat kind of redeemed themselves with maybe the overpriced carbon helmet that I have with this little guy. So I've been super, super happy with him. Um, the next helmet is this Shoei. Um, man, this helmet is kind of ancient now. It's, I've had this helmet for like nine years. Um, this is a VXW. They've updated this model since then. And I'm sure the new one is uh, just as good or better. Yeah, this is a premium helmet. Uh, I think I paid maybe about $400 for this helmet back in 2010, 2011. And uh, I've, I've painted it. This is a custom paint job that I did to it uh, with the Mexican flag. And um, yeah, I've, I've, I've put this helmet through the ringer and you know, it's been awesome. If you look at this liner, which you probably can't see very well, um, I mean, it's held up incredibly well for the amount of abuse that I've put this helmet uh, through. I, I've mainly rode this helmet in the woods um, <laughs> in, in, you know, in the Portland, Oregon area. And I've just, it's been wet, it's been sweat on, it's been rained on, it's been crashed in. And uh, I, I got my money worth out of this helmet. I think I paid like, yeah, I pay, paid about 400 bucks for this helmet and, and it was definitely, it was definitely worth it. Um, this was the first shoey helmet I had prior I wore Arai helmets. Um, and I was super impressed with the Shoei helmet. I would, I would not hesitate to buy another Shoei. I know they're a little heavy uh, by today's kind of standards of um, Enduro helmets and MX helmets, but the quality is, is top notch. It's just there, it's, it's like a rye, and, and you get tons of comfort and you get a helmet that's gonna literally last you 
you know, a long time. Uh, I, I wouldn't say nine years because people can crash pretty hard. But um, yeah, I, super awesome helmet. I would not hesitate to buy another shoey um, on discount or on closeout. So that's the kind of another thing I want to quickly talk about is, you know, with the exception of the Liat, I mean, these are all premium helmets, right? I, I think I think the three helmets that are not the Liat, I mean, I think they retail for um, $500, $600. You don't have to pay that. Like, you will find this these helmets on closeout, especially if you're a small or an extra large. You can find these helmets on closeout. You don't have to pay full price. And <clears throat> the value you get is is really, really good if you find them on closeout. Um, so the next helmet that I have here is this Arai. This is a pretty new Arai. Uh, I think I've had this helmet for a year. This is a VX Pro 4. This is the latest Arai helmet. Uh, this is a Barcia edition. Uh, yeah, I think this helmet retails for, I don't know, north of $500. I paid $360 for it. I bought it on eBay and new. I, I had an eBay discount coupon. And so for $360, this is an incredible helmet. Uh, even for $400, this is an incredible helmet. The quality Arai brings to the table is uns it's unsurpassed. I mean, I have not seen a helmet that has Arai quality in the way the plastics are built, in the way the shell is built, in the way the graphics are laid in, in the way the liner is built. It it's just incredible. You know, Arai does things a certain way, and they've been doing, uh, doing that way for a long time. And there's a reason why they make arguably some of the best helmets in the world, you know. Um, this is a motocross helmet. Um, it doesn't vent very well. It's maybe a little heavy now by today's standards, um, but the comfort and the, the protection is, is, is definitely there. I would say this helmet is definitely not a woods helmet. It's just, it's not vented very well. Um, it's meant for higher speed riding. And uh, yeah, you will, you know, I've ridden in the woods with this helmet and you rip off some of these little vents and stuff and that's kind of disappointing, but it's not really meant for that. Um, I've ridden in the woods with it. I don't do it anymore. I, I save this helmet for cold weather riding uh, when I don't need the vents and uh, for higher speed riding, third gear and above. And uh, yeah, they're beautiful. I would, I, would, I would buy another ride at any point, um, especially if I can find them on, on closeout. Um, so yeah, I would, I would buy an ride and I'd save it for cold weather riding and save it for motocross riding or higher speed riding. Uh, I think if you bought this helmet and you did solely woods riding with it, especially in hot weather, I think you'd be maybe disappointed or frustrated. I don't think it's really designed for that. Um, so I would, I would shy away from this helmet if you're doing that kind of thing. And honestly, this helmet is kind of, it's kind of overkill for, you know, first, second gear woods riding, you know. Okay, then we have the Troy Lee Designs helmet. This is, a, this is their top of the line model here. Um, this is an SE4 Carbon. Um, yeah, so, Troy Lee, I, I, I didn't have any Troy Lee products up until about um, maybe a year and a half ago. And um, I was originally attracted to Troy Lee. You know, they look good. And you can find, typically, um, I'm pretty price conscious, you know, you can find Troy Lee products, whether it's a jersey or pants or a helmet. You can find them on closeout pretty easily. They, they tend to roll their products from season to season. And so, uh, yeah, you can find some killer deals on Troy Lee stuff. And, um, you know, Troy Lee spans like a big range of quality. I think they have some entry level stuff that is good and they have some really high end stuff that is really, really good. Uh, and you can find usually all of it on closeout if you wait long enough. Um, what can I say about this helmet? This helmet is awesome. You know, uh, I think I paid three, 380 for this helmet. And for 380 bucks, like this is an incredible helmet. Um, it, is, uh, it is incredibly light. It breathes better than any of the helmets here. Um, it is holding up really, really well. Um, it's got really nice components. I, I would definitely say like there's a little bit slightly lower quality than the Arai, but I, I, don't, I don't see how that difference in quality really affects the function of it. Um, this is my go-to helmet. I mean, I can ride in cold weather, hot weather, uh, high speed, slow speed. It's just it's such a good helmet. It's just so well designed. It's so well thought, of, thought out. And it's, you know, looks good, you know, it feels good. And uh, it's been awesome. You know, I would, I would rebuy this helmet for under $400, uh, you know, at any point. Um, 
I, uh, you know, in the summer months here, it's super warm where I live. And this is the only helmet I want to wear. I, I, I don't want to wear my helmet when it's my awry, when it's, you know, over, uh, over 70 degrees. It's just, it's just too warm. It doesn't vent well. And then this helmet, I've worn it when it's 45 degrees and I've worn it when it's 95 degrees. And I have only been happy with this helmet. Like, this is a really good helmet. And I think it's somewhat underrated by enduro guys, um, just because Troy Lee is more of like a motocross brand. Awesome helmet, highly recommended. Um, I, would, I would buy this helmet again at any point. Uh, I'm gonna roll in some shots of these helmets, uh, some kind of B-roll of these helmets so you guys can get a better look at the, the way, the condition they are in and how they've been used. Um, yeah, I, 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 I guess in closing, I would say, you know, don't, um, don't assume you have to pay full price for a helmet, especially a premium helmet. I mean, if you wait and if you look well enough or diligently enough, you can find these premium $500 helmets for $380. And uh, I'll tell you what, the value is there and, and it's, it's awesome. You know, um, I think you're much better served buying a closeout premium helmet for $380 than a you know, full price middle of the range helmet for $230. I think that extra $100 or $80 really goes really far in comfort and safety and just, you know, longevity of the product. Um, and a helmet is something you wear all the time. It's something that really can affect your ride if you're uncomfortable in it. And I think that's what you get, you know, in the premium helmets, you get quality, but you also get comfort. You know, I think it goes beyond safety at the, at the higher pr uh, price points. I think it goes really into comfort. And when you start doing long rides where you're hot, you're tired, and it's, you know, three, four, five hours in a helmet, those, that extra hundred dollars on a closeout premium helmet is worth every penny. So, uh, don't pay full price. Look for closeouts and, uh, yeah, these are awesome helmets. I don't think you can go wrong with any of these, you know, for sure. So I'm going to roll in some footage. Uh, please comment and subscribe and we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks.